adventure takes us to southern Louisiana. Our destination is the town of South Batchery. Located between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, this little town of 3,500 residents is one of the top alligator hunting areas in the USA. Located on Lake de Alamans, this is the home of Drake Dawson's Safari Unlimited Gator Hunting Camp. This is Drake Dawson, the owner of Safari Unlimited. And Drake, you've invited us down to your gator camp. You and I enjoyed a trip to Belize a couple of years ago, and now we're here in southern Louisiana. Tell me about your operation. Well, Buck, I knew this would just be a great experience for you guys. I mean, we're down here in the Woolly Swamp with all my buddies. We've been down here for 30 some odd years. We just have a great time here playing with these monster alligators in one of the best alligator habitats in the country. How do you hunt the alligator? Variety of ways, Buck. The main way that we use down here is we use a large rope, a large hook, big bait. We're after big alligators. So that's one of our favorite ways. We do throw a grappling hook sometimes if we're on some small bayous within our property. Now you've been operating down here for over 30 years. What is the camp alligator record? Um, some place about 13 and a half feet. That's about as big as they get, Buck. I mean, you know, when you skin an alligator that size, you may skin to 15 feet, and uh, even a 12-footer will skin to close to 14, so a lot of people will use that skin length as a size, which we sell the skins by the skin length, but they stretch like a bear. You get something over 12, and that's truly a prehistoric monster there. A 12 or 13-foot alligator is a beast. No, uh, that's, 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 that's record book kind of stuff, you bet. <laughs> now, you also do uh, bookings for a variety of different locations uh, under your company. Uh, what are some of your top locations? Um, well, of course, we're uh, in Missouri. We do. We have our own large whitetail operation. We have a huge duck operation there, the second largest private wetland in Missouri about. And then we also have a new operation in West Texas. Um, we do some turkey hunting uh, in, in Mexico across the Belize border along with our Belize operations and some other stuff scattered about. But uh, yeah, a lot of things uh, keep us busy year round. So if folks want to get hold of you, what's the best way to reach you? Um, probably the best way is to just check out our website, uh, safariunlimitedworldwide.com. Um, That's a good way to do it. And I'm sure you'll have our info on the, on the show here. And so they can come check out what they're interested in. Give us a call, personal experience. I mean, you know, we try to do our best. I look forward to spending the next few days exploring this magnificent swamp and chasing big alligators. We're going to do our best, Buck. It's hunting. Good to see you, Drake. Okay, you bet. Thank you. The alligator is one of the most feared predators in America. He gets his name from the Spanish word el lagarto, which means the lizard. This big lizard can get massive. He grows up to 13 feet and weights up to 1,000 pounds. His habitat ranges from North Carolina to Texas, and he prefers slow-moving streams, lakes, swamps, canals and bayous. Gators are ambush hunters. They eat fish, snails, deer, hogs, snakes, dogs, and other alligators. They'll eat you too if they get their jaws clamped on you. First thing each morning, we'd boat across the lake to check the baits. Every afternoon, the guides set out several hooks and lines baited with fish. The alligators are primarily nocturnal. They hunt at night, and we hunt them in the morning. My son Max scored on a nice gator early one morning. I think we got one here, Max. Yeah, He's bouncing around. I don't know what we got, we're gonna find out here. Got something. It's all tight there, wrapped up. See how the water's all tore up. He's got some cypress things. He probably come in from back there. Let's uh, right. let me get up in here. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see him. He's right here. Okay. I can see him. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get. Yep. Get over here, Max. Uh, uh, to right. Huh? To your right. Yeah. Get yep. over here on this side. I'm gonna try to get. Let me get. Like up there he is. Oh, he's just hooked in the mouth. Okay. So he's not hooked real good. Okay. Um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pull him around over here so we got a good clean shot. Okay. And uh, then you try to pop him. He's not wanting to cooperate. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on. Hold on, let me just stand up here. Okay, I'm getting over there. Yeah. I'm just going to jerk get him over here because he's not wanting to you know, cooperate. Okay. All right, just kind of bound the back of the... He pops up. He 
it's kind of wore out, so. Right there. Yeah. That's it. We can hear that a couple hundred miles away. Hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got him. <laughs> I think you got him, buddy. Oh, wow. He was ready to kind of go crazy, but look at that purple blood coming out of there. Purple blood. Oh, yeah, all the way. He ain't going nowhere. No, I don't think so. All right. What he is now is some beautiful purses. <laughs> Here we go. I'll trade you. All right. Well, first of all, I'll shake your hand. Oh, for sure. That's your first alligator? That's my first gator. Yes, sir. All right. That's awesome. That's a nice yep. one to start. Yeah, mom will be happy. Oh, yeah. When it comes to clogged gutters, you might say I've seen it all. Leaves, spinners, wiffle balls, you name it. Because any gutter open to the elements is going to gather debris and clog over time. And that can cause all kinds of problems. But get Leaf Filter and the problem solved. Leaf Filter's patented technology keeps debris out of your gutters for the life of your home. It's dependable, proven, tested, like me. So when experience matters, get Leaf Filter. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com. And we're live. I am so excited. With Posh Shows, you have direct access to Poshmark's millions of sellers with auctions starting as low as $3. Posh Shows, the newest way to score the deal of a lifetime on Poshmark. Start bidding today. Clogged gutters are scary. Clogged gutters are messy. You tired of dealing with clogged gutters? Then call 833-LEAF-FILTER. And never clean out clogged gutters again. Our patented leaf filter system sits on top of your existing gutters, protecting your home with the technology of the future and making clogged gutters a thing of the past. Guaranteed. You've got better things to do than clean out clogged gutters. Call Leaf Filter today. We can help. And clogged gutters for good. Call 833 Leaf Filter or visit leaffilter.com today. We made a promise to our boy Blue that we would make the healthiest foods possible with the finest natural ingredients and real meat first. And that's our promise to you and your dog or cat. Because when you love them like family, you want to feed them like family. When it comes to clogged gutters, you might say I've seen it all. Leaves, spinners, wiffle balls, you name it. Because any gutter open to the elements is going to gather debris and clog over time. And that can cause all kinds of problems. But get Leaf Filter and the problem solved. Leaf Filter's patented technology keeps debris out of your gutters for the life of your home. It's dependable, proven, tested, like me. So when experience matters, get Leaf Filter. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com. So why do we give to the United Way? We give because with one gift, we support an entire network of 17 partner agencies that work together on a daily basis to improve lives in our community. We give because we have the power to make sure our community is a better place for everyone. Will you join us? To make your gift today, visit stjosephunitedway.org slash give. Years ago, I escaped from you. And then you, dear Gabrielle, kidnapped me. The ones like me that no one else seems to be looking for. My team finds them and we return them safely. And now you're going to help. You think you're not like me? New case. Where would you have taken her? I expect you to be brilliant. Found Tuesday on NBC and streaming on Peacock. One of the guides named ZZ Loop has some unique pets at his house, including some alligators that he plays with. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Any pet, you mad dragging him out of there? Oh. Get up. You want to see the bite force an alligator? I used to do it with my hand when I got bit, right? It's like touching a hot stove. Turn. Oh my goodness. Cool, huh? One more time, in case you missed it. Woo! Wow, that's fast. Yeah. I got a bigger one that's quicker. Yours, yeah. That's your baby? Yeah. It's like my brother, man. Hey. 
I love you. Who is your man got on my watch? Mr. Raul. Back over here. Come on. Don't let that four out. Come up. It's so hard. Like, you don't want to get bit, but you try to touch his tongue and you can't look at him over there. Hey, I'm over here. Come on. He also has a huge snapping turtle. Now that is a fake. Awesome. Cool, right? You see that little pink tongue in his mouth? That's how to eat. It sit at the bottom of the bottle like this with the mouth open. They got a little pink tongue, looks like a worm. Mm -hmm. So when the fish come to bite the turtle's tongue, the turtle's the fish, watch. Heard him? Why? Listen close. Hey, you can do it. Come on, one more time. Nope, give me my stick. Let's see if he'll do it. Hey! Oh, hey. Uh, uh. That's it, that's your finger. Yeah. You know? I met ZZ when he bragged that he could squat my big 12 foot alligator. Then he did it. What a stud! Don't watch, you're gonna break through that wood, Z. You're gonna break through that wood. You're gonna break through that wood, Z. I got the tail. Oh! Man! Tommy Bro owns the dock where we operated the hunts. He also owns a restaurant called B&C Seafood where we enjoyed some fine Cajun food. We've been processing uh, catfish, uh, uh, freshwater fish mostly, and we've been buying uh, shrimp from the Gulf and oysters and everything else. And we have a bunch of supermarkets and stores we sell to. We sell a little bit out of state. And then we moved on to opening a restaurant about 30-something years ago. It is delicious. I got a view of them all over the world eating this stuff. Close by is the Laura Plantation. This was a sugarcane plantation in the 1800s. It had a main house and a few intact cabins where the slaves lived. Visitors can take tours and learn about the history of the Deep South. This could be a big gator. That's we're not for sure. I don't, I don't we don't know. Is. Nope, not. He got it wrapped up. Ah, seven, eight foot. All right. That's oh, that's a nice one, though. I don't know. I think he's a little bigger than eight foot. Let's see over here. Huh, it's a nice long one, though. Good gator. Oh, nice nine footer. Pretty good. That's a nice one. All right, I mean, what, he's kind of pissed off. I got him. You get the gun, Tat. I'll let him get out. Get out here a little bit with us. Not good where my legs at. Don't like that at all. Okay. He's giving you a tussle there, Drake. Yeah, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Place that one shot. Okay, okay. he's hooked in the mouth there, so he's not. Okay, Buck, let's see. Let's hold on here. Let's. Okay, if... I'm gonna try to get him around here to get a decent shot. Yep. I'll wait. I'll wait till he's centered. Ah! There. No pow! On aim. That's it, my friend. That closed his eyes, didn't it? <laughs> now, that one will make nine foot for sure. Oh, yeah. No, this big, is a bigger gator than this first one. That's a big nine there. Whew. That's a big boy. That's a nice one. Is he done? We're gonna let him be done for a minute. He's not quite, he's gonna still be kicking a bit. Yeah, let's let's let him count. Tell you what, for a minute I was standing there, had that rope wrapped around my foot. I was like, watch that, Drake. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He wow. Was, he was a little ticked off there for a minute. That was cool. No, he uh, was definitely tugging on that line and wasn't happy. Well, look at the way he tore up this whole area here. Yeah, he's fighting that pole, trying to get off that hook. Look right in there where he had a look where he had his, his laying down in there. Yep. Tell you what, tattoo he uh, when he was out scouting. You know we look for different things. You can smell them. 
right. you look for runs in the in the in the you know in the lilies and stuff yep. and he around the corner here he's got a nice run going back there into the marsh yeah and uh snake bait back here too yeah <laughs> snake bait huh? snake, snake yeah. bait, oh, snake bait. Up, i saw an old piece of fish back there let it ride for a while they'll smell it to carry his visit yeah. and he's looking for it but yeah. i got my little bait hanging right by the water here yeah. and you'll grab that before you can find the the stash well that, <laughs> that, that that's what you want you want to draw him down that's to the hook out. A nice healthy one there. There we go. Keep bringing God ah, everything. Tail, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Tail. That's a beast right there, Buck. That's a beast, man. Yeah. That's a nice one, man. That's ten and some change for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he dwarfs this first one. Yeah. It? Yeah. Absolutely dwarfs him. Yeah. Yeah. And his Look. tail is perfect too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's perfect. Long and beautiful. That's perfect. Beautiful. That tail well, is it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful hide. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Buck, is we're going to head back. I think we're just going to go ahead and head back across the lake. I've got another area that I want to chase. We put many more gators in here. One of us is going to have to be trolling behind, and i got a feeling Tattoo's driving, and it's probably not going to be you. That would probably be me. Did you bring your water skis? Um, yeah, so I'm saying let's go on back in, you know, and... Uh, uh, we're going to get these uh, two get big these boys out, into the process. Then, we're gonna go, uh, then we might take us a little Argo ride and go back into some woolly stuff and find us another big swamp lizard. Incredible creatures. They are. Drake. Hey, congratulations. We've had a blast, man. Already, man, you bet. We've had a blast, and it's only 940 in the morning. <laughs> Tattoo. Hand me that cane knife. <laughs> You're a fine Cajun gentleman. Yes, indeed. Man. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that off. We'll worry about Welcome that later. My world, uh, Buck. <laughs> I like your world, man. You know, I love going into uh, wild environments, whether it be Colorado, Texas, Africa, or the swamps of Louisiana. This is good stuff. Hey, stay tuned. We've got more exciting action from the swamps of Louisiana coming up right after this. That's right. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> We made a promise to our boy Blue that we would make the healthiest foods possible with the finest natural ingredients and real meat first. And that's our promise to you and your dog or cat. Because when you love them like family, you want to feed them like family. When it comes to clogged gutters, you might say I've seen it all. Weaves, spinners, wiffle balls, you name it. Because any gutter open to the elements is going to gather debris and clog over time. And that can cause all kinds of problems. But get Leaf Filter and the problem solved. Leaf Filter's patented technology keeps debris out of your gutters for the life of your home. It's dependable, proven, tested, like me. So when experience matters, get Leaf Filter. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. The table is set as your family and friends gather to enjoy a barbecue, picnic, or Sunday dinner. Remember the hard work and love that went into producing and preparing that food. Grilling the meat, fresh sweet corn, the big bite of watermelon, or the sweet taste of homemade ice cream on a fresh slice of apple pie. These are what memories are made of. Farming is more than a job, it's a way of life. Join Aether Brother Zach, Victor Chevrolet, Independent Farmers Bank, Summit Truck Bodies, and Ian Hessemeyer American Family to thank a farmer. Hi, I'm Susan Lucci. I never thought about heart disease until I had my own heart event. At first, like so many other women out there, I ignored my symptoms. A slight pressure on my chest, shortness of breath. I thought, I don't have time to be sick. I had a 90% a blockage in my main artery and a 75% blockage in the adjacent artery. I received two stents in my arteries. Stents developed through research funded by the American Heart Association. Those stents saved my life. I'm so grateful to the American Heart Association. Their research helped save my life. I can enjoy life with my children, my grandchildren, and my friends. Please, listen to your heart. The only reason I'm here today is because I did. Learn more about the American Heart Association's life-saving work at helpheart.org. <laughs> The boys, the Niners, 
lot of history between these two. Games that launched dynasties. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah. And games that ended seasons. I've, I've seen, seen it from, from both, both sides. sides. Oh, my goodness. He's going to the start. This rivalry on Sunday night is Cowboys and Niners, baby. Better get your popcorn ready. Drake got a call. We were already back at camp getting ready for lunch that uh, these guys had gotten a big one, a behemoth. A behemoth is the message that I got. My buddy Pago said, it's a gorilla, man. Get out here. <laughs> so we uh, loaded back in the boat to come check this out. So right up here on the bank, these fellas from California have probably shot the most awesome alligator they'll ever see in their life. There's going to be a little taxidermy work involved in that. <laughs> That's a giant 12 there. I'm stuck. What's the drink up? Okay. That's his butt now. Oh, okay. One, two, three again. I'm watching the tank. He's pushing that. Wow. Look at the size of that head. Yeah. Get a tag on the side of the snout there. Just for wow, a That's a 12. That's a go size in, 12 man's foot. That's a grown man's <laughs> foot right there. Huh? And how many shots did you put into him? I bet we put a dozen in him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop moving his tail. I was right in the head. Well, you can see how uh, chewed up that skull is. Well, they say keep shooting. That's what I do. Whew. Just keep shooting. <laughs> we'll go back and put a tape on it, but it's a giant 12 if it doesn't make that magic number. So uh, those are few and few and few far between. I mean, a handful maybe in the whole state, uh, maybe. And, uh, you know, that's just, yeah, that's, that's beautiful, man. That's one of a lifetime. Well, we got Tom's big gator hung up here, and we think he's going to push close to 13 feet. You ever seen anything like this before, Tom? Never would have dreamed I was going to get one this size. Never. <laughs> hey, what's the camp record here, Drake? Uh, about 13 and a half feet, but, I mean, this is as big as they get, man. Yeah. You know, that's, that's it. Yeah, this is a tremendous animal here, and, uh, you know, I think this guy dominated this whole lake and this whole marsh. This was Godzilla. That's definitely Godzilla. Well, Tom, we're proud of you, man. Uh, I'd love to have been the guy on the other end of the gun for this one, but I'm proud that you're the guy that made it happen. So, I'm glad uh, you were here to even see this. Well, yeah. hey, when they called us in and said, hey, we got a big one, we're kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take that long. We're on our way. <laughs> yeah, let's go check it out, and I'm glad we did. Let me tell you something, folks. If you like exciting adventures in the Louisiana swamp, you got to go hang out with Drake at Safari Unlimited. Contact him for more info for all of his worldwide locations. I'm Buck McNeely. Join me again next time for another exciting adventure on the Outdoorsman. All right. On. Thanks, Buck. All right. There we go. Good job, man. That's a beautiful animal. For more info on Outdoorsman International Preferred Outfitters, visit our website, outdoorsmanint.com, and click the fourth button to access. The Outdoorsman is brought to you by Outdoorsman International. Connect and subscribe via our social media pages.